Yeah, and we're back out here with Remus Slime. Today is December 31st, 2022. Last day of the year. Hopefully everyone will have a happy new year. And today I'm going to list out my five best enemy of the year of 2022. This is my opinion. I'll also name some honorable mentions. For example, Psycho Mob 3, Chainsaw Man, Bleach, Spy vs. Spy, Spy Family, and just still going, Kage no Jitsu ni Nakachi. So those are some of the honorable mentions for me, for five. So going first, there's no order in regards to the top five anime. Uh, please subscribe, greatly appreciate it. Thank you for those who are my subscriber. Look forward to your support for next year. Go to 500, hopefully um, be great to make it by this day. Um, for the new years, that'd be awesome making 500, then into a thousand. As promised, we reach a thousand. I'll go over my whole collection of anime figures. Uh, I will have a haul next week in regards to um, things so coming in. So, great. Look forward to that video next time for the new years. So, let's start. So, anime that came winter of 2022. First one is Kimitsu no Yaiba. Yuka Hien. This is the one where the arc and the Red District arc. So that's one of the top five animes. Great animation, great storytelling. Next one is My Lovely Doll or Sono Biscuit Doll Wa Koi Wu Suri. Great anime, great sense of life, great romance. And also gets into the aspect of cosplay, which was kind of unique of the anime. I think it was really done well. People probably say, well, what about Titan Part 2? I don't know. It just keeps going. It's not really to me. It's been broken up so much, I'm not even mentioning it. This, it's a good anime, um, but it just keeps going for some reason. And then pauses at the weirdest spots. So in <clears throat> anime of spring 2022, we have Bookworm season three, or Hanazo no Gekuju Soshi ni Nara Tame ni wa Saden wa Irata Semasen. I probably tore that up. Um, continue of this mind story. In which she, she gets adopted. Great story. One through two. In season three. Only thing I wish season three was. It was more episodes. <laughs> Ten episodes not enough for me. <clears throat> and for sports. Ayoshi. Soccer anime. Great. 24 episodes. Soccer anime. Um, so, and lastly, Overlord Season 4. <laughs> I had to put Overlord in there. So those are my top five animes of this year of 2022. As I stated earlier, I named some honorable mentions. Um, some of them, like Spy vs. Spy, didn't really watch. But I know, I watched some of it. Really great. I wish I didn't finish, I didn't finish it so I can't. Add to my list, but what I saw of it really great. Bleach did not see any of it because it, you know, you get to have Disney or whatever. Didn't watch the new Bleach, so I can't really comment, but I know a lot of people like it. Psycho Mob, really great. I did watch that. That was, um, that could be easily be part of my top five. And Chainsaw Man, um, I know a lot of people like that as well. Some people hate it, so. Uh, something I just mentioned as honorable. So, if you just if you think those five animes are part of your list, mention below in the comments. I'd be greatly appreciated. If you disagree, those are the top five animes of 2022. Please feel free to tell me what's your 2022 anime list. But please make sure they're all different. Like, I, if you look at all the animes, I select the different categories. So I put put that into 
and into um, consideration. So, thank you, everyone. Have a bad day. Have a new great year, guys. Take care. Bye.